Bleach. We even watched the filler in Bleach. Okay, the first season of Naruto and all the filler at the end and a couple of the Naruto movies uh, we finished. The first season of Attack on Titan is done. The first hundred episodes of One Piece. That's pretty good. Come on now, give us some credit here. That's, that's some time. The first season of One Punch Man we watched together and we rewatched Akame Got Kid. Um, so the ones that are yet to be started in uh, 2019 and finished are uh, Mob Psycho, that one needs to be done. Dr. Stone is one that I've been told that we need to do. And there's one about uh, Beast People. I haven't really been sure on the details of that, but I got a link to that one. And so that's also a must do. So we'll probably try to finish that. Skin's finally not working two jobs, guys. I cannot stress this enough that for all of 2019, Skin has worked two jobs. And uh, finally, now that the wedding's over, um, she is finally done doing that. So she doesn't have that insane schedule. And I really appreciate everybody's patience and stuff with that. But it's, it, it's been a big thing for our life. You know, uh, the time that we spend, especially doing things online, is very hard to do. But it's good. It's right on time. Okay, so we can finally take some time for ourselves. And it's, uh, it's, it's awesome that we've made it this far. But let's get into the video. Um, so this is the top 10 anticipated anime of uh, 2020. It was one hell of a year for anime as hit franchises like Attack on Titan, My Hero Academia and One Punch Man made successful comebacks. There were also plenty of new shows like Vinland Saga and The Promised Neverland that won up. Oh, I finished The Promised uh, Neverland. The skin never did that hearts one. And left us wanting more. With the year almost over, we look forward to 2020. Oh, I'm in. I'll do the complete list of anime that I watch later on. And January promises to be blazing hot with a slew of manga and light novel series getting their anime adaptations and yeah. a few old favorites returning to take their stories forward it looks like it's going to be a happy new year we couldn't ask for more so here are our picks for the top 10 most anticipated anime of winter 2020 dope Coming in at number 10, a university student takes a break from studying and enters the fantasy world of the mega hit video game Infinite Dendrogram. The anime is based on a fairly new Japanese light novel. Infinite Dendrogram? Son, series good that received God. a manga adaptation in 2018. Set in Tokyo in 2045, Infinite Dendrogram's taken over the world as the most realistic VR game out there. One that promises to make its players experience the five senses as if they're real. I mean, it's the same feeling as like the Sword Art on lines, that time I reincarnated as a slime, the how to summon a demon lord, um, the other one about a demon lord. I mean, it's this the same feel. I'm down for it with though. Monsters, cool demons, with it. powerful weapons, and other magical beings. Fans of the novel say the virtual world within the game feels incredibly real which in their opinion sets the novel apart from many others in the video game fantasy genre. Will the anime manage to successfully blur the lines between fantasy and reality? We recommend you watch to find out. No, it's not. It might, but it's not. But it might, but it's not. Infinite Dendrogram, great, great title. I'm gonna watch it. I love anime like that, by the way. Y'all know me, I'm not a hard sell for anime, guys. I, I am an easy sell. Okay, is it kind of good? If it's trash, just let me know before I start. I don't mind watching anime trash. The only one that was too hardcore was High School DxD. It was just sex in the show, which is fine. It's just not what I want to watch while I'm just chilling, right? But if it's trash, I'll watch it. I don't care. I don't care about that. Hook me up. Now, don't let the title mislead you. This one has nothing to do with the cute furry friends we keep at home. Instead, it's about a group of oh. psychic individuals oh. who enter the minds of others and manipulate their memories, often to commit crimes and influence decisions with criminal consequences. I'm with that, the wielders bro. of this ability are called pets. Going simply by its trailer, this anime seems to be just the thing for fans of the bizarre and the weird. The I'm supernatural psychological genre is a veritable goldmine of brilliantly bizarre anime such as Psychopaths. Death Psychopath. Mode, Erased and Parasite. Bro, holla at me. Psychopaths was so good. Uh, uh, what's the other one? Uh, with the one with the alien that goes into the people's body. Uh, Parasite. So good. And is set to air on Amazon Prime Video this January. I'm with it. Another manga to anime adaptation coming to us in the first month of 2020 is Plunderer, which comes in at 
at number eight. Lit. What up, titties? I mean, Alcio, 77. Where numbers rule the residents' lives. Each person has a count, and this decides not just their social status, but also their existence. When the count Yo. drops to zero, that's it for the person. A world of numbers is fairly unexplored territory in anime and manga, which makes the central theme of Plunderer rather interesting. The show follows the journey of a young girl as she sets out to fulfill her mother's last wish, aided by a handsome masked hero. The Man, he's a samurai! I'm with you! ...seem to be in vivid contrast with the anime's dark-sounding title. A first look at Plunderer promises a big dollop of fantasy, adventure, action, 5, and even 000. some romance. Are you excited for this new show? That sounds kind of, it sounds interesting. It could, it, see, those ones are tough. Because even if it has like great animation and pretty good storytelling, that concept seems like it could be whack really quick. Like just really cheap. So if they do that shit right, I think it would be cool. The next entry on our list is the story of a young human girl who finds a father figure in a golem or guardian of the forest. Somali and the forest spirit set in a world ruled by spirits, goblins and strange creatures, where humans are persecuted and driven to near extinction. Okay. From the looks of it, the animations captured the visuals of an enchanted world in outstanding fashion, and a heartwarming tale of a father-daughter bond never fails to tug at the heartstrings now, does it? Did someone say Mushishi meets Usagi? Right, right. Somali right. and the forest spirits, also okay. another retelling of the classic anime theme of humanity in decline explored ever so brilliantly in Attack on Titan. But this one promises to be utterly different by taking a more slice of life approach. With its stunning visuals and cast of fabulous creatures, will this be one of 2020's big anime hits? We'll find out soon. It enough. might. Yeah, it might. That's a cute little thing this too be at the end. This one of 2020's big anime hits? We'll find out. That right there? That right there is cute with the, the dude and the little girl. That's cute. So that might, that might do it. I have like a hate for uh, like kid based anime until never, the, what is it? Uh, the Promise Neverland really broke me down uh, with that. It was really excellent. What do you? It was really, really excellent. Oh, soon enough. Yeah, yeah, still, eat a good one. My whole show is on the sauna. Oh, magical girls. That's, Almost at know, the halfway mark now, and the next anime on our list is Madoka Magica Side Story Magia Record. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Scheduled for January, this is based on a 2017 smartphone game and serves as a spin off to Madoka Magica from 2011. Magia Record is expected Never to follow it, the game's storyline and introduces a new heroine, Iroha Tamaki, a magical girl in search of her missing sister. The magical girl subgenre in anime is immensely popular, and the Madoka Magica franchise is no exception. The original anime spawned numerous manga adaptations, video games, and a film series, so I guess it's only natural then that for fans of magical girls who fight evil witches with the help of their doppels, the anticipation of Magia records sky high. It always gets me because I love stuff with like pets and summons, and like anytime I play any fantasy game, if I can be a summoner, that's basically just what I'm gonna do. If I can have a pet, that's just what I'm gonna do. So it's always kind of a hard sell for me, but sometimes those anime could be annoying. So it's not really for me. From magical girls and witches, we move on to monsters, demons, and spirits. See, I like that. Coming in at number five, it's Inspector. Inspector tells the story of Kotoko Iwanaga, a 17-year-old girl who communicates with otherworldly creatures that don't always play nice. Helping uh -huh. her in her quest is university student Kuro Sakuragawa. The anime is based on a supernatural light novel that's also been turned into a manga published by Kodansha Comics for English audiences. Oh, okay. So what is the difference between a light novel then and a, and a manga? Kotoko helps solve the problems of the supernatural world in... It's a light novel like a fan fiction? her role as God of Wisdom while also keeping the peace between spirits and humans? And will she win the heart of Kuro, whom she's fallen in love with at first sight? Inspector oh. follows in the footsteps of shows like Kami-sama Kiss and Kakurio Bed and Breakfast for Spirits, though with one marked difference. Unlike the male protagonists in these other anime who are all yokai or demons, Kuro's very much human. Mystery and monsters okay. all in one anime. Is that What's his... not to like about that? Did he just get his arm chopped up? We gonna watch that. We gonna watch that. We with you. Darwin's Games, another online game That's genre show ass. that makes the cut at number four on our list name. of anticipated winter 2020 anime. That's a cool In ass Darwin's name. Game, an ordinary high schooler clicks on a strange mobile app and gets sucked Woo! into a deadly game where players wield supernatural powers. Sounds familiar enough now, doesn't it? Accompanying him on this game of life or death battles with no option to quit is a veteran player whose blonde pigtails and frilly red dress contradict her fighting prowess. The yeah. anime is based on a survival battle manga series with the same title. Will Darwin 
Darwin's game replicate the success of other online game-based anime? Some fan forums are already drawing parallels between its two main leads and the Sword Art Online's Kirito and Asuna, who may well be the most famous couple of this genre. Whilst it might be, but that doesn't mean it's going to be successful. How is Sword Art Online successful and failing at the same time? That, when you do that, you're not setting them up for success. Leave Kirito out of it, all right? Such Let a comparison may succeed. be premature at this moment. A little hype never hurts, does it? Let that man succeed. <laughs> On to the top three now with season three of A Certain Scientific Railgum. As we start the oh, countdown yeah, to the this. top, what already. makes this anime different from others is that it's the first sequel on the list. Season 3 of A Certain Scientific Railgun comes six years after the second season. Fans of the series will remember this tale of supernaturally powered high school students called Espers who live in Academy City, a place that's said to be at the forefront of scientific development, but where things aren't always what they seem. The central character, Mikoto Misaka, can manipulate electricity and is the titular railgun. Like the earlier seasons, Season 3 will also be produced by JC Staff, the studio behind oh, hit wow. animes such as Food Wars and yeah. Toradora, as well as A Certain Magical Index and A Certain Scientific Accelerator from the same franchise as A Certain Scientific Railgun. That's a nice little world they have built up there. Never seen it. Missing Whoa. the top spot but delighting its fans nonetheless is the anime adaptation of the 2000 manga Doro Hidoro. This anime set in a post-apocalyptic world called The Hole, whose human residents live wretched the lives. Hole. They're tortured, killed and experimented upon by magic users who See, come from a different dimension. On, Our hero man. Paimon oh is an amnesiac, God. dumpling loving human with the head of a lizard. The story chronicles his mission to find the sorcerer whose experiment resulted in his far from human appearance. Fans of the manga have long praised it for its gritty Sorry. art style, well thought out characters and fast paced story. All right, well, you know, it's a vivid world out there, I'll tell you that. Bouncing straight in at the number one spot is the highly anticipated fourth season of the smash hit volleyball anime, Haikyuu. This story of underdogs turned giant killers is a fan favorite and not just among admirers of sports anime. Season three from three years ago set the bar high with plenty of thrills and character development. Despite the plot being a single match stretched over 10 episodes, there was never a dull moment. Will season four live up to the hype as Hinata and the boys from Karasuno head to Tokyo for the nationals? Will the once mighty crows take flight again? If you want to know, keep your game face on when January rolls in. So there you have it. Okay. So, sports anime has not been a favorite of mine, I think, ever. Uh, but there's a lot of good stuff on this list, I think. There's a lot of good series, and it's with every new year, there are new hit anime that come out, and there are new seasons that I start. And there are so many anime I didn't realize that weren't gonna be extended, that I started, right? So I, I chose different genres that seemed fitting for me, had a good time, and they're never coming back. And so now when I go year after year and I find a new anime that I'm going to get into, there's always past seasons I have to watch to catch up to get there. You know, so I was hoping that the small group of anime I've been watching is just going to keep getting extended. But it looks like none of them are coming out in winter, which means I now need to watch all of the sports anime to get caught up until what, the fourth season they're on? And with the railgun, that shit looks dope as fuck. I haven't seen any of the alternatives. So now I have to go back and watch those two. Ugh. I'll do a video probably one at one time once I collect all of the anime that I've seen and make and organize the list of anime that I've actually seen for you guys. Um, probably could do like a top ten list uh, too, it's like the heart of the anime that I've seen. But anywho, we'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, yeah, peace.